Tupac was born on June 16, 1971 in Manhattan, New York City. He lived from an early age with people who were involved with the Black Liberation Army and convicted of serious criminal offenses and who were imprisoned. Tupac had some harsh words for Donald Trump back in 1992. In an unreleased interview with MTV Tupac said, Everybody's taught that dot you wanna be successful, you wanna be like Trump, it's too much money here. Nobody should be hitting the lotto for 36 million and we've got people starving in the streets. That's not idealistic, that's just real. That's just stupid. There's no way that these people should own planes and there are people who don't have houses. Tupac was also arrested for sexually assaulting a woman. The victim alleged that Shakur and his entourage raped her in a hotel room. Pac denied the charges, but was sentenced to 1.5 to 4.5 years in prison. He served nine months in total from February 14, 1995 at the Clinton Correctional Facility in Dannemora, New York. When Tupac was in prison in 1995 it was music producer Suge Knight and Jimmy Iovini who paid the hefty $1.4 million bail to get him released, as Tupac couldn't afford to pay it himself. In return Tupac contractually agreed to make three albums under Death Row Records. In 1994 Tupac formed the hip-hop group Thug Life. The group only released one album Thug Life, Volume 1, which sold gold. To mark the formation of the band Tupac had the infamous Thug Life tattoo inked across his stomach. He also dated Madonna. In 2015, Madonna made headlines when she admitted she had dated rapper Tupac years before his death. Now, an uncovered letter from the late star to the pop icon reveals that race was a big factor in their breakup. On September 7, 1996 Tupac was fatally shot in a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas, Nevada. At 11.15 p.m. a white four-door Cadillac with an unknown number of occupants pulled up to the sedan's right side, rolled down a window, and rapidly fired gunshots at Shakur. He was hit four times, twice in the chest, once in the arm, once in the thigh. One of the bullets went into Tupac's right lung. Chris Carroll was the first police officer on the scene after Tupac's fateful shooting on the strip. The officer recounts, he looked at me and he took a breath to get the words out, and he opened his mouth, and I thought I was actually going to get some cooperation. And then the words came out, FKU. After that, he started gurgling and slipping out of consciousness. After a year-long investigation a reporter said that the shooting was carried out by a Compton gang called the Southside Crips to avenge the beating of one of its members by Tupac a few hours earlier. Even two decades after his death, he remains one of the most influential and talked about rappers.